Hi there, I'm Kunal and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to build upon my last few videos and talk about linear functions. In previous videos, we talked about linear equations. And the first thing you might be wondering is, what's the difference between an equation and a function? Well, an equation is simply any expression that contains an equal sign. But a function has to define a relationship between variables. So this means something like y equals 3x plus 5 is a function and an equation, but something like x plus 6 equals 10 is just an equation and not a function. Functions are commonly notated as something like f of x or g of x, where the variable is some sort of function of x, meaning that for whatever value of x times a parameter, the function only has one specific value. So for example, if we take something like f of x equals 2x plus 1, and we're trying to find f of 2, we would substitute that 2 in and get 2 times 2 plus 1, or f of 2 is equal to 5. In the last video, we talked about slope-intercept form and point-slope form. Know that these forms are applied when you're working with functions because functions establish relationships between variables. There also exists what's known as a composite function, and this is where you take the results of one function and you apply it to a different one. And the notation is this circle symbol you see and this would read out f of g of x. Let's consider this quick example. So if we're given f of x equals 3x and we're given g of x is equal to 2x plus 6, let's try to find f of g of x. So you have to take the output of the g of x function and put it into f of x as the input. So this would give us f of 2x plus 6 because that's what g of x's output is. So that would give us 3 times 2x plus 6 which is 6x plus 18. So in this case, f of g of x is 6x plus 18. That's all I had for today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned something new about linear functions and are now ready to kill it on the SAT math section. For more practice problems like the one in the video and access to a 24 seven online study tool, check out ACIT at the link below. ACIT is the ultimate study tool for the SATs and the ACTs created by Juni Learning an award-winning educational tech company that has helped thousands of students take their learning to the next level. Get a one-week free trial when you use the link in the description. Until next time, and good luck studying!